everybody, this is Jennifer Johnson with Hot Hardware. Today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can pick up this smartphone from any of the main carriers here in the US, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon Wireless, and US Cellular. The Galaxy S3 has a nice 4.8 inch Super AMOLED touchscreen with a resolution of 1280 by 720. It has excellent viewing angles, hopefully this comes across on the video here. As far as speed is concerned, the phone is super speedy and fluid. It's really nice. It runs on a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor and it features 2 gig of RAM. There's 16 gig of internal storage on our test model. However, there's also a 32 gig model available. The phone measures 5.38 inches by 2.78 inches by just 0.34 inches and it weighs just 4.7 ounces. To give you a little bit of a comparison as far as thickness, here's the Galaxy S2 on the right and the Galaxy S3 on the left. The Galaxy S3 is just a hair thinner than the Galaxy S2. You have your 1.9 megapixel front facing camera up top as well as your menu button and your back button at the bottom and the home screen in the middle. There's a volume rocker over here on the left, micro USB port at the bottom, power button over on the right and your headset jack up top. On the back you have your LED flash, 8 megapixel camera with zero shutter lag and burst shot capabilities, and a speaker grill. As you can see this is the Sprint version. We'll pick up, we also have the AT&T version here and the phones are identical save, except for the logo on the back. Let's take a quick look at all of the home screens here. There's seven fully customizable home screens on the Galaxy S3. Here's a thumbnail view, and you can see as I flick through them that the phone is really nice and responsive. Also show you a few of the apps that come with it. Um, you, of course, every carrier is going to preload a few of their own apps. You got your AT&T Navigator here. Samsung also includes the S-Memo and the S-Suggest. A few others here. We'll fire up the web browser. You can see we have Hot Hardware's site loaded up. Pinch and zoom controls are just as fluid as you'd expect. Accelerometer works great. One of the sharing features that Samsung touts with the Galaxy S3 is this S-Beam. We'll go ahead and you can see we have our other Galaxy S3 here and all you have to do is put the phones back to back and this one will ask you which one you want to beam over and it'll send it over. You can do this with pictures and video and websites etc. The Galaxy S3 also has a feature called S Voice, which is kind of like Siri on Apple's iPhone. What's the weather like today? Mostly sunny, windy and warm today. The current temperature is 92 degrees. Hi Galaxy. What's the height of Mount Everest? Feet. And then you can tap more and get an elevation map and more information. There's all sorts of things you can do with S Voice just like you can do with Siri. Another really cool new feature is called Tectiles, this near field communication stickers you can use to change your settings, launch an application, or send a text message or whatever you want. We'll go ahead and program here just to show you how quick and easy it is. I'll set it to silence the phone ringer. confirms that it's been written and that's all there is to it. I have the phone ringer set all, all the way up on high right now. I went ahead and silenced, silenced the ringer for me. I have this one over here on the right set up to automatically launch my movie player. So we'll go ahead and fire that up here. while you're watching a movie, if you want to compose a text message or something like that, you can minimize the video player, but keep it up. And you can move it around on the screen or whatever else.
This has been a look at the Samsung Galaxy S3. Be sure to stop by the site for the full hands-on review. Thanks for stopping by.